I think the best water that feels like like ocean water feels the best. Yeah. Like when you swim in ocean water, there's something about ocean water where it's it's not just water. It feels alive. It feels like you're you're dipping into an ecosystem. You're not in a petri dish. You like s- a swimming pool feels like a petri you dish. You ever snort it? Snort yeah, ocean like, water? Yeah, like uh What do you think the answer to that question? I don't would know, be? like but you <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, I mean, accidentally. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Says, I've got it up my nose cool. accidentally, but I didn't snort it for effect, though. I'm not trying to do it, like, but like, uh, <laughs> there was, you know, when I meet old healthy people, I always ask them, like, what's your secret? And he said, I snort salt, salt water, like, when I go swimming. Oh, and he takes a little oh. bit in his hand and he swims okay. and he goes, and it goes, it goes, it burns like this. And he goes, and this guy swears by it. He's like, I fucking love it. And I'm like, all right, you know. So I tried it, it, it did burn. Well, but, isn't that a lot like a neti pot? Like, yeah, people do do that to clean their nose out, right? Yeah, I read about someone who had like this might be propaganda. This might be against the neti pot industry, but there was uh, someone was Fuck using you, a neti, neti pot, pot and they got a brain, um, uh, some sort of a parasite. And Look, there's always there's always going to be dun. like one, right? There's always going to be. We should live in fear. That's what I'm saying. We should just live in fear. I snort salt water. <laughs> I live in <laughs> Seattle. Is it real? Yeah. What is it? Uh, so someone in Seattle, what did they well, just this, snort? The, a man it, dies of a brain-eating amoeba, possibly from rinsing his sinuses with tap water. This one is in Florida. Oh, that's in Florida. So there's more than one. You heard mm-hmm. Steve-O's bit about this, right? No, but if that shit gets in your brain from tap water, like what about when you swallow it? All right, you saw you, you saw have to boil it. You saw the Hadza drinking the brown water, right? Yes. It's not that water has like cow poop in it, and like it's it's disgusting, right? Uh, when I when I met Stevo, he's like, when his family traveled a lot when he was younger, and he said when he goes to other countries, they always tell you don't drink the water in Mexico, don't drink the and right. he'd, and he'd always do it, and so he'd get like crazy diarrhea, get sick, but now he says he has the most insane like gut biome, and he oh, yeah. and, and he never gets sick now. Which, like, he seems like he should be dead and he isn't. (laughs) And so the Hadza have a very similar thing with them. They have an insane micro gut biome, like, like the most diverse ever. So by, like, if I drank that shit, that brown water, I'd be dead. You'd be fucked. Yeah, I'd be fucked, you know. Do you know who Joel Salatin is? Mm -mm. Joel Salatin is, um, he's uh, one of those guys who's... um, he he does these farms where all the animals on the farm, it's called polyface farms, all the animal on the farms, they all work together. It's like, a, it's called regenerative agriculture. Yeah. So there's no pesticides, yeah, yeah. no herbicides, and it's all just about moving the animals around and having them. And he drinks out of the cattle, those fucking buckets where the cows drink out, those long- The trough. The trough, yeah. yeah. He drinks the water out of that for his own gut biome. All right, so, okay, this is, you're the perfect guy to, you know, you know, I'm a, like, you've offered to give me on it shit, but I just buy all of that stuff anyways. Like, in the same way with the oxygenated pool, there's like, you live a life very similar to mine where sometimes we meet people and they go, hey man, if I had your money, this is what I would do, right? They tell you what they would do, right? So, at one point, I'm sitting there winning the video game of money and I go, You've been, you, you came to my warehouse years ago, right? Like, yeah. I'm like, I had this like 20, 30,000 square. Dope spot downtown. That <laughs> but was dope. I, but I was like, dude. I was like, damn, this is how famous <laughs> artists should live. This is fucking <laughs> badass. It was badass. I was like, yeah. that's Because if I went over your house and it was like Ikea furniture or some shit, it would be so boring. You know, but you lived exactly how, like, I would hope that you lived. Yeah, and I loved it. <laughs> I bought every car that I want. I, I, I just got everything I wanted, and I said, there's something that, you know, so as a rich guy, I should have the best everything. So I, because I want to live, you know, the longest. So I had state of the art. Gym, and I think this is 15 years ago or, or more. Like you're the first person to ever t- tell me about float tank. You're like, here's my float tank guy. I had the float tank. I had the UV spa. I had everything. I had the ice bath, all the shit. I had the, the best, most expensive weights. The smoothie that I'm having every morning is like, a thousand dollars. I don't know if it's a thousand, but it has placenta, human placenta. Jesus. It has two eggs, shell on, not washed. Banana, Whoa. banana sticker on. Shell on, not shell washed. on. I saw Arnold Schwarzenegger do it. So, uh, uh. Um, banana peel on, 
like a whole bitter melon, like the most disgusting shake ever. Like every single powder at Erewhon that costs like a hundred dollars, the three hundred dollar like uh, honey, the Manuka honey, uh, Siberian cedar pine oil, like every single thing that someone says is good, I it tastes like shit, and I just down it, and I I have like the six hundred dollar trainer that shows up to my house, and I realize like it was kind of like. I'm I'm gonna live long and be healthy, but like it felt lonely. I'm paying a guy to be here, um, and like the thing that I was missing in my life was accountability because there was no account- like I'm like I want a life where I have no accountability. I want to be like a kid. I want to be Robin Hood or uh, Peter Pan forever. And so people were like, "Oh, if money will keep you accountable, if you're paying someone six hundred bucks an hour, like you're definitely gonna show up to that appointment." I'm like, "No, I'm not." <laughs> um, so I found this guy, this rogue trainer that. Like, my friend was like, I know a guy. And I was like, well, well what's this guy? Like, it's, the money thing's not going to, he's like, he hits you. And I was like, hits what? You. Yeah, he hits you. You got to sign a contract and stuff. And it's like, are you okay? Because uh, this is, and he only like has like three clients and they're all super <laughs> they're rich. All in the hospital. Yeah. He's like, you will do, you will get into shape, but you have to sign this thing that says I'm allowed to come over to your house. You have to give me a key to your house. Oh my God. And so like, and for someone like me who likes pain, I'm like, I don't give a fuck, you know? <laughs> and so I missed my first, like I missed, dude, not exaggerating. I missed it by two minutes. Like I had to be there. He runs up the stairs and my mom happened to be stopping at my house to drop off kimchi. So she sees a guy, a huge guy, Russian guy, run up the stairs and start pummeling my sternum. And she screams like, ah! And I was like, ah! Oh my God. I was like, mom, I paid this guy to do this. <laughs> oh my God. And that scared the shit out of me. The, like my mom like almost had a heart attack. I was like, mom, 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 I'm sorry. And then I sat there and I was like, this, this, is, this ain't it. Like this ain't it, you know? <laughs> so... So, and I don't want to give away my exact <sighs> location, but like <sighs> currently <sighs> my, you know, this, this might be going further, the c- complete opposite side of the spectrum, but I go to the, like one of the shittiest 24 hour fitnesses in LA. I mean, there's a guy popping zits and shaving his neck and wiping his ass in the sink. There's always a homeless guy in the sauna doing push ups. Like it, it feels like a lot of homeless guys have the past to this one and they just oh go there to like shower. shower up. There's always someone about to like looking like the, like they're about to give a hand job in the showers ah. or like in the sauna. <sighs> and once in a while I get recognized or whatever, but I go there with my friends. It's communal like I don't know. And I'm like I don't know if this is it either. 